New Yorkers living in some of the city's most expensive buildings may soon have to open their own doors and fend for themselves. That's because doormen and other staffers could soon go on strike. Teresa Priolo has more on the potential impact. They're wonderful, they're kind, they're helpful. You need them. Of all the people that make New York City run, it's hard to argue with anyone who thinks doormen, supers, concierges, and handymen are an essential entity of city living. But for the first time since the pandemic began, the city's 30,000 doormen, supers, and handymen are threatening to walk off the job if the Realty Advisory Board doesn't give them what they want. They really deserve something special. They've been working for two years through this pandemic while we all got to stay at home and they had the risk of working in these buildings. So I think they've done a terrific job. Currently, a doorman makes a base salary of roughly $55,000 with an annual 3.32% raise. Add to that fully paid family health coverage, 49 days of paid time off, pension and a 401k and additional educational opportunities. But now the Realty Board wants the workers to contribute to their own health coverage. They want to like uh, cut on every issue that affect our health care and we're not going to stand by it. The RAB points out only 5% of workers nationally have their health care paid in full. Here in the city, it's usually reserved for first responders and teachers. When the city was, was, was going through tough times, we kept the building running. We kept everything running. We were there. So what happens if they walk? Well, sorting through this will be on you, not to mention all the other duties, including taking out the trash. In a statement, the Realty Board said over the past two years, we have worked in partnership to protect workers and residents during the pandemic. We are hopeful we can continue to show that our collaboration is the labor relations gold standard in New York and across the country. The two sides will meet again this coming Tuesday. At that point, we will get a good understanding and a good indication as to whether or not there will really be a strike. In Morningside Heights, Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.